X Men Days of Future Past two years later. I thought there were flaws with the film, but I always thought it was really good. But now I see it's not perfect, and well, how can I say it? I've acknowledged it's not perfect. Before I was amazed, and it was like first grade viewing, and then after that, it's not hold up as well. Although it is a good blockbuster in this kind of era. The beginning begins with Blade Runner, Purple Pyramid Prisons, Robots Hunting Humans, themes of diversity and race, making it more like Blade Runner. Mystique doing martial arts is a bit Hawkeye action-y, felt, but felt threatening and was effective for telling its story. I never felt like it was cartoony, even though, I don't know, I didn't really have a realistic take on it, since so you have all these moods and everything, so I felt like it was made sense, and the stunt actor didn't have a lot of skill doing the action stunts martial arts stunts. Michael ba- Fassbender is a great actor, but he doesn't really have much to do other than a plot convenience for the conflict. He doesn't really feel real or really well established. Uh, like, I don't feel like they did a lot with him. Like, first movie, oh, you see him go from this guy who is all about him, like his family dies in front of him, and then he makes his choice or to be good or evil in the end. I didn't feel like that's a continuation of that where he was straight up the bad guy thanks to the fact that Ian McKellen's in this. Like, they didn't... I don't know, it's weird. They skip a lot, but it would have been cool if they had a comic book or TV show instead of just lazy, low-budget, let's talk, not show stuff. Like, there wasn't synergy with it, so why skip so much? Some of the humor doesn't work at home. Xavier claiming Wolverine was an acid when Wolvie asked... What happened to him as he gained back control when he loses connection because of seeing Stryker? Like, this felt very Matthew Vaughn ish, even though Matthew Vaughn wasn't director of this film. Jinx might as well have been called Chinese Teleport Girl, although being a minor character wasn't a bad idea. Her effects were really excellent. Her death sort of comes out of nowhere, though, and you figure Halle Berry would complain too. I mean, she's not a big A-lister anymore. Mystique's morphing is done really well. It seems where she is attacking someone and trying to choke them before turning back to a normal form. Between the forms of two people, male and female. Really cool. There's a lot of cool special effects in the film, such as that bullet that Magneto controls to go after Mystique to try and stop her from ever... Could kill her and preventing her from ever turning into... Creating the... Sentinels... However, Magneto was a little dumb because he didn't think that the blood on the street would be enough to create a Sentinel. That's interesting. I also don't know if the Sentinels with the Mystique's blood were formed from these kind of both of our trash technology. Like, they're just metal. They're not organic. So, maybe a plot hole? I don't know. Something to think about. A film that should have revolved around fish... Bishop and had Rogue didn't. The whole plot of having Bishop is having him as a main character, especially in these future past. However, they're not in- involved. Wolverine and Colonel Striker being involved in the film will serve a distraction. The film didn't really need Wolverine. Why put him in the scene with Striker if he wasn't going to do anything? The fact that Shadowcat and Wolverine. Shadowcat has that power where she can teleport Wolverine back in time. Not really necessary. Like, they could have done some other stuff. I don't know why they did that stuff. Jennifer Lawrence's Vietnamese is a lot better than I remembered. Maybe they edited that after the theatrical version. I thought it was really out of place when I watched it in the theater, but it worked pretty well this time. Also, back to the special effects. The Quicksilver sequence was really fun. I thought he was a, the actor did a great job with him. Was he better than the Marvel Quicksilver? Up to you. They're both different takes. Depends on you. I really like the sequence. The visual effects are really good in this film. The bullet time in that scene and the bullet time with Mystique running away from Magneto's bullet was pretty interesting. They even allude to the fact that they're going to have Magneto go after Mystique as Magneto controlled the bullet that assassinated JFK. Does... You also get to figure out 
does Magneto actually kill JFK or did he actually try and stop him? He was a mutant, but who knows what his goals were. They don't really... Something I think that no one talks about is whether Richard Nixon and John F. Kennedy are well-developed characters in the film. Richard Nixon doesn't really seem that evil in the film. They do make it look like the American government and all that stuff. I like Marvel where they're like, yeah, this is New York City. Uh, yeah, the Germans. They weren't that evil. It was really Hydra. Who was in charge of World War II? I don't know. But like, here's more more real and more based on real events as is the next film. The entire thing about the Vietnam War was interesting. It, again, was told and not shown, but they could do some stuff with it. I don't know if they really needed a serum where Xavier could walk. It was weird, because, like, why are you going to have him walk if, one, it could have been an alternate reality, or, two, you shot him in the end of the last film, so what would the purpose of that be if he can walk? Heck, McCoy has strength, has special effects, but I don't know if it was a good follow-up to what his... Go- they have a little wink-wink between him and Mystique, but, like, it doesn't really go anywhere. And then they could have went their different ways or got closer together, but I didn't really see where they were going with that. Mystique was really cool as she tries to save everyone throughout the film. And she's really important at the end of the film. That really wasn't what done in the first trilogy of X-Men, and I felt like this, they did really well with Mystique. Made her really important. Is she the same Mystique as the comics? Not sure. They're rushing a little bit and not going as in-depth because they're doing all these special event movies with X-Men. But she's way better than the ones prior. Even though it's like the same director. And also, like, I think my brother mentioned that why they take Magneto out of jail, what they gain from it, they control him. It might have been. It would be. I forget if it was Wolverine's idea or not, but if it was, that would have been interesting because, like, he knows him in the future. And. There's a bit of a looper thing going on with the past and the present, all conflicting with each other. Does Magneto in the future go to jail and get killed by the government in this timeline? I don't know. But I don't think it's necessary to know. I also thought the apocalypse in credits was unnecessary. Like, just make the new film. Like, it doesn't, I don't know. Marvel does it all the time, and you know the Marvel fans are like, oh, it's apocalypse and the four horsemen and everything, but like, everyone else doesn't know anything, and who knows what they're going to think. Also, it's weird that they showed the future of the X-Men, but they're not the same X-Men as the original trilogy, so... That's always been a complaint everyone has about this film, but you know what everyone's thinking. Right, that's what I got. Please comment below your thoughts on X-Men Days of Future Past.